Hey guys, uh, I am Anand Ved, your tech guide from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest AMD Ryzen offering by HP, which is the GR series of laptops, which HP has launched here in India. This is 2020 September, and uh, it's with AMD Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 3. So we have the laptop hands-on with us, and uh, after watching this video, you'll be able to basically replace uh, the RAM, upgrade uh, a hard drive with another SSD, put an M.2 NVMe SSD and do literally everything by reaching uh, to the base of this particular laptop. This is a must watch video if you want to buy this particular laptop. So let's do it. This basically comes in a silver variant. The top panel is entirely silver in color and uh, you have a two sided nano bezel for this particular model. The vent again uh, here is being blocked by the display screen. Speaker grille is on the top front facing. Good speaker quality on this particular laptop. The power button is separate. Keyboard as usual is just like the HP 15S or 14S uh, DU series of laptops. Nice uh, size of the keys and good engraving of the letters on the keyboard. The touchpad again is a click pad. It has got right and left clicks. The entire metallic finish inside looks very premium for the given price point of around 35 to 40,000 here in India. Once you close it on the left side, you have a gigabit Ethernet port, you have HDMI, you have a C type connector, you have hard disk indicator and a power indicator, and you have headphone mic combi. Laptop is pretty slim. On the front, there are no IOs whatsoever. On the right, you have a memory card reader. You have two USB 3.0 ports. You have a charging pin indicator and you have a charging pin connector. The rear base is also very clutter free. You don't see a single screw visible as soon as you flip it. A good amount of perforated area here uh, for the motherboard heat to get vented. All in all, a good uh, design. This is the webcam quality, as you can see the quality is very good uh, for an entry level laptop. This is the GR0007 AU on which the, the video has been shot using that web camera. The audio quality is also very good, there is absolutely uh, no lag whatsoever as well as uh, even in low light condition the video quality seems to be better. But with better lighting uh, it's absolutely nice, 720p is what you can record on this particular web camera. The audio quality is very, very good, crisp, clear, good amount of bass also. Good job on the speakers HP. To start things up, uh, we need to just flip the laptop. There are no screws visible here. You need to remove uh, the glue stickering here. The rudders which are there, it's got a self-adhesive tape. So you just need to remove it. You need to be sure that uh, the adhesive tape also comes along. It will come a problem. Now, you need to flip the laptop back, open it and start protruding from the corners. So this is the way the innards of the GR2007 TU, which is the model that we have taken, the GR series, the AMD Ryzen variant looks like. And as you can see, very easy to open and uh, get access to it. This is the Wi-Fi chip, the hard drive, the battery, two RAM slots area. It has a M.2 NVMe SSD bay. So you can install a M.2 NVMe SSD also. So let's start with the battery first. Remove the screws. So this is the battery that you need to buy if you are uh, say watching the video after 2-3 to three years. It's a HT03XL battery and 
and you can get a replacement battery and fit the battery back into this laptop. The battery rating is 11.34 volts and 41.0 watt hours. The rated capacity is 3440 mAh. It will give you a comfortable battery backup of around 5 to 6 hours. Coming to the RAM part here, uh, just need to use your two thumb fingers to remove an existing RAM. Just remove it like this and uh, you can see the RAM over here. So you can take a 3200AA megahertz RAM, that is a 3000 megahertz or a 2666 megahertz RAM, 4 GB, 8 GB or 16 GB. So 16 plus 16 will be totally 32 GB RAM is what it can be upgraded to. Take a similar RAM like this, DDR4 low voltage and uh, just insert it like this and uh, press from top. The notches will fit onto this. Coming to the part where the hard drive is, uh, you need to remove a screw over here. You need to remove this notch here. And uh, you need to remove this connector. Take a similar connector, there are absolutely no metal frame as such. Only one screw has to remove. One screw, if you remove, this frame will come off. Take a similar 2.5 SATA hard drive or SSD and uh, you can install or upgrade the hard drive. Coming to the part where the M.2 SSD has to be installed, you can install a M.2 NVMe SSD on this laptop. We have a Western Digital 250GB Lu SN550 NVMe SSD that uh, we want to install to this laptop. And you can just put it like this and the need to take a screw externally. You can use a screw which is there on the hard drive area to fit here. Without a three screws, one screw can be utilized and uh, your SSD is integrated. This is the fan. If you want to replace the fan, speakers are over here, one and two. No sign of a CMOS cell on this laptop. This is the LCD cable. This is where the Wi-Fi chip, you just need to remove this one screw over here. If you remove it, you can just remove this connector and uh, you're good to go. This is the keyboard connector, the touchpad connector. They have a separate audio board over here, as you can see, for the headphone and mic combi. Before putting the screws, you need to just see to it that flower bracket is in place. First time you power on the laptop, it will not immediately power on. It will just come and go off and after that, you'll have the screen boot up. It will say checksum error is invalid and then you need to press enter and then it will restart. And you'll see the HP logo come up. The AMD Ryzen 3 variant comes with a 3250U processor and a clock speed of 2.6 GHz along with 2 GB Vega graphics by default. The laptop seemed to be much more responsive than a Core i3 variant in the same price range. Without an SSD, it is very, very responsive. So this, my friends, is a video showcasing the HP 15S GR0007AU, the GR series of AMD Ryzen-based laptops by HP. This is the entry-level laptops, which priced at around 35,000 to 45,000 rupees here in India. This is around September 2020, and uh, these are doing very well in this particular Indian market. So we're going to take a dive in on the laptop, and we've shown you how to replace the RAM to the M.2 NVMe SSD hard drive, even replace the battery, say two years from now you want to replace the battery. You can do all of that by watching this particular video. It's got a good 2GB Vega graphics, uh, AMD Ryzen 3 is a good processor that they have integrated, 2.4 GHz is the clock speed that uh, they're giving at this point of time. And uh, the webcam quality is very good, the speaker, especially the front grille on the speaker is very nicely positioned, so the audio is very forward coming. and. Uh, the competition does not have a speaker in this particular category which can compete with HP at this point of time. The finish also is very premium. It's got a silver premium finish all across the base, the top, as well as the inners. The inner has a metallic silver finish, so that gives it a more premium finish. And it's got C-type connector. It has got uh, whatever you would want uh, to desire to have a laptop. It's got everything that you would want in that particular given budget, under 40,000 rupees. So, thanks a lot for watching guys, do leave some suggestions in the comments and do not forget to subscribe for us. Thank you so much.